It's great to have you back at my coin lady channel. Our current position is 47.50 cents. For XRP, it was a really good day. However, with more reflection, no discernible change in pricing has occurred. Garlin, Brad according to House, Gary Gensler, has been spreading false information and slander over the impending imprisonment of all crypto executives. Gensler, who was upset from the DOJ announcement regarding Binance, missed FTX, and even hung out with Sam Bateman. He claims to be working for the American people, but he should have been fired long ago if that were true. Biden will be defeated in the election because of Gensler. To a certain extent, I concur. Frankly, no one was more harmful to the American people than Gary Gensler. He could have stopped FTX in its tracks, and now Gary Gensler is in charge of the SEC, together with the politicians that were helping Sam Bank, Ben release. Despite Reaper's candor in their meeting with the SEC, they wound up in a three-year-long lawsuit due to serious non-compliance. Although ETH was exempt, the SEC is crooked. Also, Gary should be the one to go to prison. He ought to resign from his position as SEC member. Is Trump the owner of any XRP? The details, he has openly stated that Swift is flawed, he is positive on blockchain firms operating in the US, including Ripple, he despises the SEC, and the US requires a new monetary system. I have no doubt that Trump also owns XRP. However, in 2018, Trump set us on the road to a digital dollar. In the future, I think it will be necessary to improve or replace SWIFT. Ripple's goal is to fix the problematic SWIFT system, but governments are simultaneously walking away from it. That will be further discussed in a separate video. I think Trump is well informed on XRP, though, and his urging investors, who aren't sure to put all their money into the cryptocurrency. Here is my perspective on the current exchanges. Remember when everyone was delisting XRP? That's why the exchanges relisted it so quickly. They know this run-up will be huge for XRP. XRP, when the lawsuit first occurred, they relisted it as soon as the legal situation became clear. A lot of individuals are going to make a ton of money with XRP in the next run-up, and it's going to happen with the old season and the new season starting this year. Many are criticizing the uphold for delaying access to XRP assets. As a result, many individuals are really upset about the current situation with uphold. Would you imply that I should listen to you? Just when I thought XRP would be the perfect solution for decentralization and speed, it gets sidelined and my funds are being reviewed by uphold. Now I can't spend or access my money which completely undermines the purpose of XRP. Nevertheless, there seems to be no issue with XRP here. Uphold is an issue, and I rarely if ever utilize it. I stopped using Uphold a long time ago when I heard about Max Say. The thing is, using Maxi might be a pain in the US. In addition to other things, I had to acquire a VPN. I also don't utilize Maxi to store my cryptocurrency, once I buy it, I transfer it out the same day. In the past, there were lockup periods with Casper and a few other cryptocurrencies, but I was doing the same thing with Uphold. I keep telling you that no transaction is risk-free, because I want you to realize that. By the way, I'm not implying that Uphold is flawed in any way. But this whole situation, with the holding and refusing to release needs to stop. Finally, I made a poll of my own today. The question then becomes, what percentage of voters believe Paulette's political pledges will be fulfilled? In my opinion, the upcoming elections will attract many new investors to the cryptocurrency market. However, I seriously doubt that more than 10% of these promises will be fulfilled. On the other hand, I think that laws in the US will lead to XRP's adoption. Furthermore, this poll caught me off guard. I was making this video when there were 87 bolt votes. Accordingly, between 58.6% and 41.4% of the time, fewer than 10% will occur. Furthermore, 
the only way for it to move forward is to elect the president, who is most supportive of cryptocurrency. Nothing gets done without Congress, without the Senate and the House of Representatives. After passing the House, a bill fails to clear the Senate. Although it passes in the Senate, a bill never makes it to the House for consideration. Also, moving ahead, it will be an issue. It is our hope that if pro-crypto candidates take over the White House, the Senate, and the administration, we will finally see action on the digital euro testing programs, approval of crypto ripple partner Axiology. Because of my role as an XRP-based wholesale DLT operator in the market, a large number of major banks, including HSBC, JP Morgan, UBS, and Goldman Sachs, among others, are participating as Ripple partners. There are a number of financial institutions represented on this comprehensive list of participants. On the other hand, seeing Ripple there is impressive. As a market DLT operator, Axiology is pleased to announce that it has been approved for the digital euro testing program through partnerships. I feel compelled to emphasize it again, because I am the sole operator of the DLT market that is using the XRP ledger. The test will be carried out in conjunction with multiple ECB members. Axiology involves creating a use case for the settlement of central bank funds and the tokenized bond life cycle. Also, tokenization is involved, so that's significant. And it will be the crypto industry's next major development. The fact that major banks are already predicting tokenization as the next big thing means it's coming. You must be more attentive. The untold story of David Schwartz is quite remarkable. Throughout the time between the Genesis Ledger and the Beta Era, when David Schwartz, Jed McCaleb, Arthur Brito, and Chris Larson allowed users to access the Ledger, we constructed and destroyed countless more Ledger chains, the XRP being only one of them. I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and giving it a like. Goodbye for now.